Okay, we have a congressional election team with a problem. And it's not just their life choices. I'm talking about a problem trying to figure out how many people they should call to conduct a poll. And if you look at what they want here, they want to talk to 175 people, right? It's not as easy as just calling up 175 people because they have figured out, according to past experience, that 70% of the people they call will answer the phone. But, you know, 30% don't. They just don't pick up. And of the people who do pick up the phone, as soon as they realize they're talking to a congressperson or his election team, two-thirds of those hang up justifiably. So we've got really a lot of people who are not going to talk to this election team. And we have to figure out how many calls they need to make. So instead of working through this backwards, um, I want to work through it forwards using a variable called n. And that's just going to be the number of people called. So let's make an equation here. We're going to say n, that's the number of people they call, times, times what? Well, let's try 70%. n times 70% is the number of people who have answered the phone. Okay? And then how many people are going to keep on talking once they realize what's on the other end of the phone? Well, if two-thirds of them hang up, how many are left? It's going to be one-third. So we've got n times 70% times one-third. This is the number of people actually talking to the congressional team. And that becomes only 175 people. So we have an equation in algebra. We can now solve this thing. And I just want to go through it using some of the techniques we've already practiced many times. Let's multiply both sides by something. Okay, I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. Okay, now the 3 cancels out this one third, So that's nice. I get n times 0 0.70 equals, uh, let me make sure I don't mess this up, 175 times 3, 525. So see, you got to call, and we're not even done yet. So 525 has to be now divided by 0.70. I want n by itself. This is called solving for a variable. Once you get n by itself, now you know how many people you need to call at the very beginning of this thing. So 525 divided by 0.7 looks like they're going to have to call 750 people. Okay, so let's just run through the math and I'll show you how this works in the other direction. 750 people called, right? 750 times 0.7. That means 525 picked up the phone. And if two thirds hang up, how many are left? Well, 525 divided by three means 175 are left on the phone. Okay, so that's how you go through this backwards setting up an algebra problem.